All right, hello and welcome back to Pirate Omega. Last we left off, we were on Route, what was this, 9, I think? I, I can't remember. Anyway, we're in front of the underground path that goes uh, east-west, and uh, we're still on our way to Settle Down City. I haven't even bothered going back to the Pokemon Center since the last few battles. I think we're pretty close to the uh, next uh, center, so just going through. This lady uh, spoke about the uh, the department store. No, there are items somewhere here, but we're not going to bother trying to find them for now. Also, uh, I looked around. There's not a lot of information about um, like ma like game gameplay changes, like the the Pokemon Tower on Fire Red Omega. So. We're just gonna keep going for now until we hit a roadblock and can't progress in this story. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe, I'm guessing that I'll need the silt scope and then I'm hoping that'll unlock the tower. We'll find out. Anyway, there's a grassy area. Let's see what's in the wild there. <clears throat> Shroomish. I've already encountered Shroomish before. Not uh, particularly interested catching the shroomish. Skip loom. Also passing for now. Hop it. Now we're good. We are good. But we have arrived to Celadon City. I see some uh, items there. We will heal. Poke flute. That is what we need to get rid of the Snorlax. We have a fuchsia. Props to her. Bike. Well, I have a bike. All right, let's check out what that item is. Sunstone. I already had one, not two. So if I wanted a blossom and a sunflower, I could have that. Also, I think there is a gift Pokemon waiting for us on top of this uh, building. Let's go check that out. Hello. There's nothing that I don't know. Like I wrote on the blackboard. <laughs> well, I can't uh, can't exactly trade with this Game Boy Advance wireless adapter. I had that when I uh, had my Game Boy. And this is an Eevee. I do not want to give a nickname to this Eevee. It is in our main box, so that's another dex entry, which is great. In fact, if we uh, get our hands on some more evolutionary stones... Well, I'd, unless the ditto is female, I'd need a ditto to ha get uh, more Eevees, and then I could have all, uh, all of the uh, Kanto evolutions, which would be more entries. But we're doing good. I think we're at like 40 now, 40 or so. Let's explore more around the town a little bit. There's a rocket grunt here. Hey. I make no promises. So my trusted pal, Polyrath. Bohun Pari World when I used a water stone. Congratulations. There's some Pokemon here. What's this lady's deal? You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. We got the tea. So the tea. The tea is uh, is a crucial key item that we need to get to Saharan City. A fun fact for you, when I was little, I got stuck on uh, this part of the game. I basically couldn't get into Saffron City because I didn't speak English well enough. And uh... Okay, it takes mushrooms to remember moves, that's cool. Anyway, I couldn't speak English well enough to understand what the hell the guard was talking about when uh, he was complaining about being thirsty. 
and so I I don't know I it it must have been what, what felt like a long time before I accidentally bought uh, fresh water or soda or whatever you can get out of the vending machines in the department store and I happened to just go back to the gate on a random excursion and then the guard let me through and I was like wait what happened I don't even know what I just did <laughs> and then I finally went through uh, pursued through the game I remember that was such a huge accomplishment playing these games is harder when you don't speak English well I must say these are cameos of the, all the game developers and game characters And is there anything this way? Nope. Okay. We got the tea. Tea is good. We're not going to Saffron City just yet. That'll be later. So this dude here. He scalded his tongue. It must be a character designed to uh, kind of assist with figuring out that you need to get that tea. <laughs> you know, my coughing's quite nice, aside from the fact that when it tries to poison you. Like, no, no kidding. Mr. Cutter, I need your services. There's also a grassy area here, and there's actually a double battle that we can do. Oh man, more double battles. I am... The game is just going to continue spiting me for my statement about there being no double battles. That's alright. A couple of the Unjed. So Rapid Dash and Nine Tails. Alright. That's really up to your evolution game here. Well, I will match you with my evolutions. Focus on one at a time. Oh nice, we got the Paralyze. And we got the Flinch. That Rapid, uh, that Nine Tails did not have a good time. I know I selected Nine Tails, but the bite's gonna redirect to Rapid Dash anyway. And Hades is level 31. It is on a streak. <laughs> You're not a loser. I'm sure she still loves you. I get in here, good effort. Well, if you have a solid friend like I do with Mr. Cutter, Anything's possible. I say that, and I'm gonna stash him pretty soon. Hello. HMO2, which is Fly. Fly is great. Unfortunately, none of our native team members can, uh, can use Fly. However, we have some Pokemon in our box, I'm sure. You can probably learn it. There's a Rattata. We already have a Rattata though. This Rattata, if I evolved it, immediately become a Raticate, which would be cool. We, uh, let's stick with ours. Let's explore a little bit more. Anything else? Zigzagoon. Also cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't help for Kanto Dex Endeavor, so. Pass on that. What else? More Rattatas. Okay. We are going to depart in this area. If you're not, we'll be back here once we are finished with Saladon City. Thank you, Mr. Cutter. And let's see. Have I spoken to you yet? Ah, yeah, she was talking about the game corner and that. Oops, uh, sorry. Misclick. All right, let's go shopping. I'm mostly interested in TMs, but let's see if they have anything else of interest. Roar, skill swap, dig, brick break. Brick break's not bad. We could replace karate chop with brick break. Brick break.
break, so I retract. Mm. Retract, I'm not too interested in. What about you? Great ball, could always use more of that, but we're doing fine with 11, I think. Hyper Potion, that's what I was waiting for, though. I'm not gonna buy too many yet. I think our team can still work through it with, uh, with Super Potions. Okay. She's, she's speaking the truth. All right, who else do we have here? This guy's all about trading. Never mind, he's talk, he talks about original trainer IDs. Counter. Oops. No, I, I did not want to do that. Counter is cool, but uh, it relies on getting hit, and it's a little bit of a prediction game, and I'm not uh, too confident of my ability to predict the uh, the game about its behavior. People, people are a different question. This game is on the random side. Can you present for his girlfriend? Boop a doll will be it. It's a popular thing. Hi. What do you have? Ah, yes. You have some stones. I don't need these right now, but they will be handy at a later time. Oops. <laughs> or you could just keep pressing run until the Pokemon lets you run. It's a cheaper solution, I would say. Uh, this guy sells the vitamins, or minerals, whatever you want to call them, supplements. This guy does the in-battle effect once. Could have sworn... Was that in later games that the... There's a TM shop that sells, like, you know, thunder and... Am I able to give her a drink if I buy, like, a lemonade? Oh, I want lemonade. I could have gone with a cheaper one. Sure. Oh, okay. What should give? Reflect. Thanks, I guess. It's cool. Wait, can we do this multiple times? Alright, let's try... Freshwater. And uh, we might as well buy a soda pop and see what happens. Okay. Sure. Let's go fresh water. Okay, TM16, which is light screen. Uh, ah, okay, alright. And then let's give it one more soda pop. TM20, which is safeguard. Okay, so these are all the shield effects you can have. That's cool, but don't know if I necessary. Okay, well I guess I guess we can't get Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard. It's disappointing. I was really hoping to get uh, Fire Blast for at least uh, at least Houndoom, but I would also like to get it for our uh, Shellgon. <laughs> this guy. All his money. It's almost all our self scope. I can uh, offer a suspicion as to who did it. He starts with the TNNs and Eam Rocket. Ladybug. If you wanted one of those invincible Ledians, this is where you come. However, I'm not interested. Not right now. Roselia. That's cool. in these houses. Some vacation with her brother and her boyfriend. Sodan is a pretty city. Little dude's happy. It's okay, I didn't want to stay here anyway. 
<laughs> uh, I totally don't remember this dialogue. <laughs> That's awesome. Boyfriend's not happy. Uh, oh, there are rockets here. Chief. Thanks for admitting? Oh no, What? I wonder what's going to happen if I do that. I don't remember Team Rocket ever being this violent, honestly. There's a basement under the game corner. Hmm, really? Oh, sweet. Thank you for the coin case. Did he know? That's unfortunate. Alright, we got the coin case. We're just uh, soaking up all the key items here. I think that is all the buildings. Obviously, we can still go check out the game corner. Now, I know what's happening, what happens at the game corner, but I think we'll save that for after the gym. Wait, what? You just got a Porygon? Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to play slots anymore because the guy just threw a Porygon at us. Cool. This is run by Team Rocket. Hey, thanks. Oh, no more coins, huh? Yeah, there's the Team Rocket guy there. Oh, it's the Greeter. Okay. He's too busy playing slots to actually give me good, good advice. It's alright. I know how that goes. I do want some coins. Thank you. Thanks. Well, sweet. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Dre did anything with the rewards. I'm curious. I'm curious about that. Dude, all you have to do is go talk to that other guy on the slots and he'll give you one. <laughs> that was dope. Okay. Uh, smoke bomb, miracle seed, charcoal, mystic water, yellow flute. Nah. Good. Abra, Clefairy, Dratini, Scyther, and Porygon. Well, we have got the Porygon. Scyther's cool. Dratini's cool. You can catch all those at the Safari Zone, though. And these are Ice Beam, one of these is Thunderbolt, and there's, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got Thunderbolt as a TM already, so that's fine. Speaking of which, we haven't actually used that either. Okay, well... I think that's it for the town itself. See how we're doing on time. We got halfway through what I would normally record for an episode. Um, I want to do a little bit of a box management, so I'll just do this on camera for you. Why not? It's a little bit of maintenance, maintenance day. All right, so here's our gift Pokemon Charmander. And now our starter set is now complete. We have every starter, and obviously we have. Uh, Morshtomp with us. Horsey joins the crew. Over here. Actually, I just thought of something we can do. So this episode doesn't go to waste. With, uh, you know. I'm gonna put Mr. Cutter here because Mr. Cutter is actually a, you know, a valued team member. Level 30 Porygon. Adamant. Nice. Well, Adamant is not the best, but it's okay. So what I want to do, did I, did I switch already? Yeah, so that, that Caterpie can easily become a Butterfree. So let's uh, let's get some dex entries in this episode. And I think we can use this grass on the, on the right here in Route 7 to do some training. And it's going to be really easy training because all we have to do is get a couple levels on this Caterpie. And we'll do the same for a Weedle. 
Also, I think I needed to buy a um, Thunderstone at the department store, so we'll do that, and we can evolve our Pikachu. Alright, so there's a threatening Hopip. I loathe the fact that in this in older generations you can still paralyze electric types. I got so used to the idea that that's not a thing anymore. And this Hopip is going straight for some stall tactics here. Oh good, but it is defeated. And Caterpie's level 7. Actually knows tackle, which is unique in the trainer realm in these games. All right, here's another hoppet. Well, you know, Duracell can't be snow sport anymore, so I'll just use Duracell for this. Yep. And, uh, dude, do you not see that the Electabuzz is already paralyzed? here to get that up to level 10. I need something other than hop -ups. Is there anything else? There we go. Now we're talking. Skip loom. Let's uh, switch over to Duracell. Nope. Not, not, not happening. Fire Punch! And down goes the Skip Loom. There we go, Metapod is level 9. And, uh, doing well, Duracell's actually getting some experience. Not a lot, but some. Shroomish. Well, let's see if we can uh, get enough experience to get Metapod to level 10. Not so nice for you, but I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> the wasted turn for both of us. Alright, sweet. After this hop we should level up. Yeah, that's it's not gonna not gonna work. That can't work. And Metapod is level ten. care of that. Back in Solidon City. And uh, let's do this. It is the wheel's turn. We'll return Butterfree. Quick healing. 
I think we might actually uh, go over to the... Um... Oh wait, we can't. We can't. I was gonna say we could go to the west side, uh, um, the western routes uh, grass area, but that requires cut, and we don't have Mr. Cutter. I don't feel like going back to the box to get Mr. Cutter. Not worth it. We're just we'll just stick to this grass area. It looks like the only thing here are hop-ups and skip looms, which is fine. Never mind. They're just kitty. <clears throat> Take that. Please do not have attract anymore. Actually, it doesn't matter because you're male and it doesn't work. You have to sing though. Skitties always find a way to be annoying somehow. Alright. Oh, that wasn't enough experience. No. We need skip looms. That's what we need. We need skip looms. That is, this is in fact not a skip loom. But we'll take it. He did what I asked, <laughs> but it's not, it's not a lot better. That was, uh, it's gonna be for no, no, uh, effects, so effect, effects poor of any kind, you know, no poison, no sleep, no para paralysis. But, uh, didn't work out that way down. No, did it. There's supposed to be a heavy sleeper if he's dodging leech seed. Alright. It's like four turns. So annoying. Okay. Got it. Cocoon is level eight. Two more levels. Figured. You know. Got so much to do with... I feel like Erica is gonna be at her own... Uh, it's gonna take up a while to get through her gym, and I'm having to do the rocket hideout. Although depending on how the battles will go, I don't know. I don't know how we'll organize the uh, playthrough yet. It's just a nice, uh, chill maintenance episode. All right, one more level, then we'll be done with Kakuna. And then we'll see about evolving the Pikachu. Taylor. I haven't seen Taylor yet, not in this area at least. Kakuna probably needs like two more Pokemon defeated to evolve. Oh no. In worst case, switch to Firefox and use Shockwave, but still. I'm gonna try it one more time and if it doesn't work, we're switching. So, got it together. Yeah, okay, another Taylor. This time, I'm switching to Firefox straight up. Learned from last time. Of course, now she doesn't go for it. Or a crit by quick attack. Didn't happen though. There goes the tail. Oh 
got our bee drill. Alert okay, Fury attack. Sweet. And with that, we're done evolving our bugs. And uh, I think we'll do one more thing before we end it here. Pikachu. And we're gonna do what Lieutenant Surge did with his own Pikachu according to the uh, anime, which is uh, evolve his Pikachu without it uh, being really experienced, because I'm, I'm a terrible trainer. <laughs> there we go, here's our Thunderstone. And uh, we'll just uh, get right to it. here that we can do. So let's do that. Let's grab Growlithe first. Oops. No, no, not what I wanted to shift. Party Pokemon. There we go. And uh, let's uh, use the Firestone. Unfortunately, I don't have another Firestone on hand, but that'll be easily rectified later. Oops, good one. Hmm, whatever. Actually, let's... we got like a couple more minutes here. Let's uh, grab the Vulpix. And uh, we'll go buy one more Firestone. It annoys me that I put Arcanine in the wrong spot. Sorry, buddy. You are going in the dex box. But don't worry, you've got company. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get that Firestone. Firestone on the Vulpix. I think that says so pixelated. I think it says 46. I think. So, yeah, 46. Four more to go. You can easily get that. I already have two candidates in mind. And one is an old friend. But I think uh, we'll do that at a later time when we get to uh, 
we get to closer to the actual place where, where the 50, 50 uh, dex count check matters. For now, let's drop off Ninetales. Have her join the rest of the party in the box, the dex box. And with that, I think we will end it for this episode. Next time, we will continue on onward in uh, Solidon City. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!